Good morning, Movement family. My name is Lindsay, Director of Student Ministries at the Movement Church, and I'm so grateful to bring you guys this daily devotional this morning. Guys, Pastor Pat's been walking us through this incredible passage in 2 Chronicles um, about King Jehoshaphat. And I think this dude is like my new favorite person ever. He's amazing. Uh, last week, I talked to you guys about how proactive praise brought the providence. And in this case, that providence was victory in war. This week, Pastor Pat talked about how proactive praise brought peace. The providence was peace. And so this morning, I want to share with you guys a little bit about my understanding of peace. And to do so, I want to read John chapter 16, verse 33. It says, I have told you these things, this is Jesus speaking, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. I love this because Jesus is saying that not only does he give peace, but he actually is our peace. See, a fruit of his spirit is peace. And so when we are in his company, when we are in the company of his spirit, there is peace attached to that. But notice in this scripture, his peace and him being our peace does not negate trouble in this life. It's not like accept Jesus into your life and poof, everything goes away and you live this transcendent life of eternal peace. No, he actually says, in this world, you will have trouble. That doesn't mean like maybe or it's conditional or you have the power to negotiate. No, it's saying, I promise you, in this life, you're gonna have trouble. It's gonna be tough. When you accept me, it doesn't mean your problems and your troubles go away. But it does mean that just like when Jesus was asleep in the storm, that we get to have peace even amidst the storm because he himself is our peace. And it goes on to say in John chapter 16, verse 33, take heart, I have overcome the world. You see, in Hebrews, it says that Jesus was a man just like us and he was tempted and tried in every way, but he remained perfect even in those trials but because he went through those trials he can sympathize and empathize with us as we go through trials and so he promises we will have trials we will have tribulations we will have trouble but he also promises that we can take heart because he has already overcome all of those things we celebrated this weekend he crucified all of those things to the cross and claimed a victory over them when he rose again from the grave so take heart my friends you will have trouble it's a promise but you'll also have peace in him he wants to be your peace his providence from proactive praise is his peace we learned it in second chronicles we learned it in the new testament and we'll learn it for the rest of our lives if we accept his peace that he came to give us this morning. That's my encouragement to you all. Take his peace, invite him into your life in deeper ways, proactively praise him, and the providence is his peace. I love you guys, I hope this encourages you guys, and I encourage y'all, stay in the word, stay connected, reach out if you need anything. Love y'all, peace.